I love to provide you with books and videos that actually give you the syntax that you can count on working. Take a look at these sample examples and then we'll understand a little bit better. Collect statistics using sample on the table column this. That's going to do it on a single column. Collect statistics using sample on this table name column employee number. It's the primary index, but we collect at the column level because it's a single column index. That's the best way to do it. As you can see here, collect statistics using sample on table name index, open paren, first comma, second column. And that's going to be because it's a multi-column index. Now, lastly, take a look at this, friends. Collect statistics on employee table. We've been collecting statistics at a sample level. So when we use this to refresh the statistics we've collected on in the past, it's going to collect using the same sample amount as before. One thing I love about collecting statistics in this chapter is that you've seen everything you need to know to collect. Hey, I know the syntax to collect statistics. I know which columns or index are the most important. I get how this works. Some of this other stuff is ultra deep. So DBAs, this might be something for you, even though it's definitely not necessary. Okay, if you're taking certification tests, you're going to want to know this for V14. But let me take you deep. Take a look at this. Collect statistics using system sample on the column. It's going to use whatever the default system sample is that's been set by the DBA. But you can change this at any time and look at this next example. Collect statistics using sample. I want a 15% sample not the system default, and I want max intervals of 100. We normally chop every one of these statistics into 250 intervals. I only need 100 intervals and a 15% sample. You've stated it. Here's another one. Collect statistics using sample. I want 20% this time, and I want the max intervals to be the 250. That's the way it's going to collect. And I can also display this by saying show statistics on the table and it's going to show me exactly what it's been doing and I'll get some information on this. And lastly, I can say show statistics values for a particular column and it's going to give me a bunch of more detailed information. Here's something that us old school veterans really never saw much before and that is how to collect statistics on a partitioned table using the keyword partition. A lot of times Teradata recommends even if the table is not a PPI or a partitioned primary index table that you still say collect statistics and use the keyword partition. Collect statistics on table name column partition is really the syntax and I've given you a couple actual examples here. Collect statistics on order table PPI it's a partition primary index table. Column partition that's a key word, and this is going to help you in a couple of ways. Number one, the parsing engine is going to have a better plan for all the PPI tables that you do this on. Secondly, it's going to help with partition elimination for range queries. I want something between this date and this date, and it's going to have a better idea of what is in those particular partitions within that range. And here's what I want you to understand. That's even more insightful when there's a lot of empty partitions. So use the keyword partition when you collect statistics on all tables, but especially PPI tables.